Hello everyone, today we have new video review and this time we are going to check kit from Special Hobby. This is not an usual kit because, or not usual kit, because it's a limited edition with uh, dual combo inside and also a special book. So we have it here, it's a commercial sample and means you get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see here. Kit copies uh, Mirage F Adin Duo pack as you can see and as I said there is also this special book which can't be bought separately. So you can get it only together with this kit. And we are going to open this kit and take a closer look at what is actually hidden inside. So let's open it. I won't be showing box size because as you can see we have on the standard information on the uh, site so there is no point to show it again and again and just give me a second so here we have two separate instructions on dual seaters and also single seaters that's really surprising that you can assemble both versions and now just give me a second to put it aside I'll show you I guess there is no point to show Again and again the same parts. We are going to check twin sitter, but I guess you can understand that one sitter will be approximately the same. So let's open it. And here we have standard Mirage set. And if you saw our previous video reviews, you might be familiar with it because we reviewed several Mirage kits uh, in a solo pack. So let's say now it's a duo pack. And here in the first plastic bag we have clear plastic sprue which is molded in a quite nice quality so let's zoom in now you can see it here we have various canopy parts and of course there are no masks included so if you would like to cover them somehow you have to cut them with your own hands but molding quality looks really impressive so here I don't have any complaints okay next we start with plastic sprues so first of all here we have tail fin which is molded on the separate sprue it is a one piece part here you can see it from the opposite side so everything looks really nice and I think it will be easy to install next we continue with another grey plastic sprue this one is already dedicated to fuselage half and here we have quite interesting parts division because as you can see half is molded separately together with uh, cockpit 4 here on the small frame and here we have also instrument panel let's zoom in now you should be able to see it and overall external detailing looks really good so here I don't have any anything to add it's a recess panel lines and here inside we have guiding pins so it's a more or less modern level of uh, molding quality of detailing and I don't think you will have any problems with this another fuselage half comes on the next sprue so here we have absolutely the same design and here on the small frame you can see rear walls for both pilot seats because it's a twin seater if you uh, remember okay next we continue with this plastic sprue so here we have no scone parts and as you remember in previous video reviews I was complaining that we have to assemble no scone out of two house here nothing has changed so uh, you still have to glue two house together in order to get the no scone ready and it might be a bit tricky because it's uh, such an visible part or area of the aircraft so you have to be really careful here we have engine nozzles and also air intakes, this side air intakes, they are molded as a one piece parts. So it means you have just to separate them carefully and install onto the aircraft. That's really cool because at least here you won't have to uh, invent any new approach, everything is ready to be installed and should be easy to install. Next we continue with wing parts, here they are, we can even zoom in a bit so that you can see them closer. Again recess panel lines and riveting is present here, we have tail wings here and note that the lower part of the wing actually repeats panel lines so it means you won't have any seams on the wing edges and wing edges are kept in a really thin thickness and that's really important in this scale because on real aircraft it's also quite thin edge and I mean otherwise you won't be able to copy this feature so that's why designers decided to use such approach. Next we continue with another plastic sprue. This one is more dedicated to um, external parts because we have several types of tail fins, we have various pylons, we have parts for pilot seats here so they should be glued out of several pieces. Here we have landing gear wheels 
And again everything looks completely fine, external detailing is on the same level as what we saw in uh, fuselage halves and wing parts. We can zoom in so that you can understand what I'm talking about here. You can see for example tail fin parts, they look absolutely nice. And attachment points are thin enough in order to carefully separate all this stuff and install it onto the model without actually damaging the plastic. Next we continue with last grey plastic sprue. This one is dedicated to various armament parts. So here we have missiles, we have external fuel tanks, pylons and also more types of various missiles. Of course fuel tanks they should be glued out of two halves. We have also guiding pins inside so it should be easy to glue them together. It's not like you get two halves and do whatever you want. And missiles are molded as one piece parts. The only thing you have to attach is tail fin but it's not such a difficult task and it should be done really quickly because here we have guiding elements which should assist you in doing this. Okay, next we have, as I said, we have second set of plastic sprues. This one is dedicated to single seater, that's why we won't be checking it because it's just a single seater version of the same aircraft. What we will be checking is this small plastic bag with resin parts. That's really surprising, I forgot that um, this kit also features resin parts. So let's zoom in and now you can see that here we have landing gear wheels. I'm really surprised that we have actually not two sets of landing gear wheels. We have four of them. So, oops, I broke one. But anyway, what I was going to do, as you can see here, we have resin bases connected together. So I guess there are two different types of landing gear wheels, but maybe not. Maybe it was added accidentally, who knows. Here we also have uh, the special hook for aircraft and of course last but not the least is some external panels for one of the aircraft versions okay so as you can see resin parts can be separated even by bare fingers but do not repeat it of course use the special saw for such procedure it's my bad that I broke parts Next we go on with separate plastic bag for decal sheets. So now I'm trying to open it in order to show you what is actually included here. And I can say straight away that both decal sheets are printed in cartograph. And that's really cool because printing quality looks really great. And okay, so what I want to show you first is this tiny P thread. As far as you can understand, that's the only PE you get in this kit, so it will be used for fine detailing of external surfaces, maybe some antennas. Next, we go on with first decal sheet, so this one is dedicated to the white stripes on one of the marking options. Maybe some professionals will actually copy this with uh, masks, because, I mean, I don't see any reason not to do so, so if you are going to choose this marking, better use masks, not decals. Next we continue with second decal sheet, let's zoom out a bit. So here we have all necessary symbols for uh, several marking options. Printing quality looks completely fine, I can see even some decals for instrument panel and stencils here. So it looks nice and let's not forget that this is a 170 second scale set so that's why it is even more impressive in my opinion. And here we have third decal sheet. So this one is also dedicated to various marking options and as far as you can see this one is for single seater and previous was for double seater. So pay attention to this, do not use wrong marking option during your build. Okay and next we have assembly manual. So as long as we checked double seater so we are going to check assembly manual for double seater as well. Let's zoom out a bit. Okay. So what do we have here? It's a color printed brochure, short history note on the first page, then we open it and here we have parts map. Note that not all parts will be used and assembly process starts with cockpit of course, then we continue with fuselage half, we assemble fuselage together and we continue here with tail surfaces and wings. Here you install landing gear and assemble pilot seats 
And next is the canopy, so of course you can copy the open canopy on your aircraft if you would like to. And these yellow pictures are additional accessories from CMK, so you can get a few tanks. Actually, these are rocket pods. Pilot seats, pilot figures and engine nozzle. All of these are molded out of resin. Here we go on with first two marking options. So this is actually the one which will use this stripe decals. Here we have another one from Iron and it's Air Force 2016. And here we have third marking option. It's from Qatar Air Force late 1980s. So three marking options for one version. I guess single seater should have the same. Yes, there are also three marking options, so we get in total six marking options. And then there is a special bonus on the bottom of the box, so what I'm trying to do is to separate it off the box in order not to show you. Okay, so here is the book. It is a soft cover book, as you can see it's a, a plastic wrap, so now I just need to use my fingers in order to tear it apart and we will take a look at what is actually shown here so just give me a second I'm trying to open it right now okay so as I said soft cover and here we have well, quite interesting information about Mirage F1. So as you can see these are color printed photos and there are some interesting detail shots of real aircraft so you can copy this weathering and painting ideas on your model. As you can see there are detail shots of various uh, internal elements as well. Cockpit is here. So this might be a good reference book if you would like to have a really detailed model in 170 second scale. And it comes as a standard bonus so let's consider it as a nice uh, thing to have in the kit. So as I said this kit should be already available. You can get it on official special hobby website. Of course write your opinion here in the comment section below. If you like this video you can press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will see in the next video review as usual. Thank you for watching today and bye.